Meet Bentley. Meet Bentley. Yeah, so he was born May 9th, um, 2020. I picked him up June 20th, 2020. His mom is a silky terrier. The mom has a white coat and the dad has a brown and black coat, just like Bentley. Bentley was the first born of a litter of four. It was three boys and one girl. I got the I got Bentley from a friend of mine. I think Bentley has to go potty or either wants to go to bed. So I'm gonna go put him but down. He was um, the first born from his litter, one of four. I'm not sure how much he weighed at birth, but when we got him, he was um, one pound eight ounces. He kept up the most trouble out of his litter. Stayed up most of the night nursing. He was one of the first to open his eyes, walk, and eat. Now let's talk about picking him up. So I worked that Friday. Um, I wanted to have at least three days to bond with him before going back to work. So I worked that Friday. I actually should have left early, but I didn't. I had the opportunity to leave early, but I didn't. Um, I had a really, really, really bad headache by the end of the day. She had a lot of stuff going on that weekend also, so I called her and she said that she wasn't home. So I said I would go home, take take a nap, and then come back out. When I woke up was to her calling me like three hours later. Um, I was extremely sleepy. I didn't think I would be able to go get him anyway, which is probably a good thing because I had a really bad headache. I was sleepy. I hadn't eaten anything. So I got up the next day. I had a project due for school. I completed my project. She called me and told me that I can come get him at any time. Um, again, I was still working on my project, and I figured that I would want to spend more time with him, so I just completed my project before going to pick him up. Um, after I completed my project, she lives about 30 minutes away from me. I drove to go get him. I did not bring anything. I was supposed, that Friday I was supposed to bring my um, son with me to help bring him back home. However, um, that Saturday, my son was asleep. So I tried to wake him up, even though it was late. You know, school is out. They're up all night. So I tried to wake him up. He did not get up, so I had to go get him by myself. I went and got him by myself, get him in the car, thinking that I'll just put a blanket on the seat and he'll be comfortable, and that didn't happen. So I go in the trunk, and I have, like, one of those collapsible, um, the collapsible little storage bins, um, like one of these um so i get that out the trunk i figure i'll put him in that he was not having that he just wanted to sit in my lap he was crying and crying crying i asked her if she had a box she had a box but it was like a big um like a big storage container like i said she lives about 30 minutes away from me i didn't want to have to bring that back i didn't know if i had to bring it back but i was just like well just forget it i'll figure out a way he cried most of the way home um i think he was sleepy um, I'm not really sure what it is. He wanted to be in my arms. It turned, a 30 minute drive turned into almost an hour because I took the street. I was real nervous about getting on the freeway because he wouldn't <laughs> go anywhere other than me on my lap or on my chest. I had a blanket with me, but the blanket just wasn't comforting him. I had every intention to take, um, a blanket or something over there so it can get the smell from his litter mates. That didn't happen. I got busy with work and school. Um, work went, I went back to work after the virus, after the, the stay at home order. I believe two weeks before I got home. So work was really, really, really busy. I had every intention of doing all these amazing things. And needless to say, none of those things happened. So I was not stuck, but I was forced to, um, ride with him on my lap. I was very, very, very uncomfortable. I pulled over a few times to readjust myself and him. Needless to say, I got home that very first night. It was so late in the evening. He was new to us. We was new to him. He had all these new things, all these new surroundings. Um, so it, that, that first night was very interesting. He is, he's a Taurus. But with that said, he is such a sweet boy. I'm married to a Taurus, so yeah. Um, he is such a sweet boy. He um, loves to cuddle. 
he his my friend I guess I can call it a breeder but anyway my friend um, has three not small children but three children under the age of 10 that fell in love with these puppies they did a lot of holding a lot of cuddling and that's what he's used to that's what he likes Percy likes to gnaw on fingers like every puppy and loves to jump I think his jumping is so cute because he is the tiniest thing ever I think his jumping is, is adorable. Funny thing is, he does not like peanut butter. We just assume every other dog we've ever had loves peanut butter. So we thought he would love peanut butter. butter. Purchased the Kung for him. He's not interested. Not a fan at all. I guess we'll try it again. Because um, he is pretty picky. Um, not with snacks. But with um, a lot of the... Well, I shouldn't say picky with his food. However, he was on wet food. Um mixed up with a little bit of soft kibble like um watered down kibble and i found that he wasn't really eating sorry i found that he wasn't really eating as much as i thought he should eat um according to everything that i read that he should eat um so i that's why i say that he's picky because he would kind of sniff it um so i started adding more water to it so he would kind of lap it up so it was like um soup almost um, and he would lap it up, but really wasn't putting a dent in the food. He was really just getting the water. Um, so I was really nervous about that. However, now he finished all of his food. He's no longer on the, the wet food. Well, I shouldn't say that. So he has a little bit more wet food left, but I use, it comes in chunks. So I usually just add a little bit of the wet food and I still wet the kibble because he is still, te he only has his two fangs. That first night was pretty rough. That second night was pretty rough but as of today he sleeps throughout the entire night um excuse me i just had to rearrange where he slept and how he slept and that pretty much worked for us which is amazing i think i'm gonna talk about that in another video but i went from all these things that i knew about all of the other dogs that i've had in the past and he's totally different um than any of the other dogs that i had again He's a Taurus. During car rides, he would rather ride in my lap. I took the car seat back because I just didn't think that it worked for me. I'm actually, well, I took the car seat back that I got from the Christmas tree store. But I think that I may try to go back and get another one um, because he rides in the bag that I have. However, he does a lot of... Um, whining and crying the entire time I believe just because he wants to be cuddled um, so he has a dog that I purchased that has the heartbeat again I'm gonna do a review on that and that has been riding with him still not really helping so I'm thinking that um, I took the car seat back because it was brown and I just didn't like the color. I have the black one that I got from Amazon that I may, it's, I actually did a return for it, but I haven't yet taken it to Kohl's for the, to do the finalization of the return. So I may end up taking that back. I'm really not sure about that. I could possibly wait until he's older and find something that's suitable for him with his size, how, whatever size it's going to be. I'm just kind of lost or torn as to what to do because as you know, or maybe you didn't know because you haven't seen the uh, my puppy haul, but he goes to work with me every day. So he's in the car multiple times a day, at least twice, to and from work. But sometimes I stop after work. Um, so I don't know. I have to figure something out about that. I feel like he absolutely hates that carrier. And again, I think he just hates it because he wants to be out. So he it has like a bungee cord on the inside and he's constantly like jumping out of it. I'll do a review and actually maybe show a video of him in it and he has plenty of room but he just wants to be out so something that i tried today was i tried putting him in the back seat so he couldn't see me but i had a phone call i had to take the phone call he could still hear me he ended up wiggling his way out he can actually get the zippers open again i'll do a review on that but he ended up wiggling himself out of there and was just crying like and he doesn't he doesn't bark right now, so his cries just sounds like a cat. A cat and an infant all mixed up in one. 
I think that's pretty much it. Um, so he was resting, but I went and got him so we can end the video. So like I said, our next video will be um, how our first week with me having Bentley um, went. So like, comment, and subscribe.